Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to another English class here on Verbling.com. Uh, in this hour, we're going to be doing a speaking class. So if you want to join us, you can uh, join using your reservation if you have one, or just wait until you see the join class button, and then you can uh, join us if you want to practice speaking English. Today, it's going to be kind of a show and tell where you guys are going to tell us about stuff. Um, you can tell us anything you want, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more uh, once we get settled here and see who joins us. I just finished uh, the last hour. We were talking about a, a new toilet that they've designed and they're using in India, which is helping uh, improve the sanitation there. So that's a that's a cool thing we, we read about. Um, but in this hour, we're going to be doing something completely different. So. That's pretty cool here on Verbling. Every hour, new things are happening. So one hour you're speaking, one hour you're reading, the next hour you might be writing, playing a game, you know, something like that. So for this hour, you guys are going to be doing more of the talking. Okay, well, let me just say hi to people. Hi, Alex. Hello. How are you? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. Good. Awesome. All right, and uh, Bilge, how are you, Bilge? Am I saying that right, Bilge? 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 I I don't hear you very loudly. It's kind of soft, Bilge. Maybe speak up a little louder or get closer to a microphone or something. I don't know. Bilge, where are you from? Okay. Uh, I'm from Turkey. Oh, from from Turkey. Okay, what part of Turkey? Uh, European side. Oh, European side. Okay. Okay, wonderful. And Juanma, you're back. Welcome yes. back. Yes. <laughs> you're right. a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I enjoyed the 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 class before. The speaking yeah, class. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, that was interesting. Cool. We were talking All about right. uh, toilets. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I imagine you have a regular international style toilet in your house. Is that true, Juanma? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> in fact, I have an American standard. That was the company we were talking about. Is American standard uh, toilets, and that's the type of toilet I have in my house. Not oh. the one we, not the one we were looking at, but uh, one made <laughs> by that company. <laughs> yeah. I have to say so. that I have to say that w when I was young in the school, uh, yeah. there were uh, traditional toilets. Ah, uh huh. In the school. In the school, yeah. Uh, oh wow. Uh, about okay. 15 years ago. Uh huh. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, this, that's uh, not too long ago. I'm going to show you, I have this kind of toilet, just because we, we just finished up that uh, last hour there. Oh, Hamid says he can't participate. Okay, Hamid, we'll see you next time. Sorry about that. But uh, the toilet we were reading about costs $1.85, so $1.85. And a new toilet here in the United States that is typical of what you use is $216, so quite a bit difference, but that's... Uh, the type of toilet that is the most popular here in the United States it looks something like that and that's the company that is making the other toilet the cheap toilet in India so different places have a different toilet it's something that you don't necessarily think about that much until you travel then when you travel to different countries you see different people have different types of bathrooms different types of toilets, flushing systems, uh, that type of thing. So it's uh, interesting, uh, you know, depending on the economy and the, the history and the culture and everything. So interesting. Okay. All right. So people are kind of coming and going out of here. So a, maybe some people's connection is slowing down. If your connection um, slows down and you, you drop out and you didn't want to drop out, uh, just try refreshing your page that's usually the best thing you can do if you're having a lot of problems um, the next thing you can try is actually restarting your computer 
sometimes that helps if your your microphone isn't working or your connection is bad if you restart your computer and then go to verbling again that uh, sometimes helps resolve or fix the issues so um, yeah okay guys so let's see who else is here okay Juanma and uh, Norris Norris Maria hi Norris or uh, hi uh, bad is not Norris is okay. Harold it's Harold yeah yeah okay. I don't know what I don't know why he the name is Norris but <laughs> here is Harold okay that's that's interesting so yeah are you using somebody else's uh yeah yeah I think thing. that I am using his Google Plus yeah you're using somebody else's Google Plus okay so you can get your own Google Plus or use that one but yeah you'll have to tell us what uh, your name is uh, do you spell it like that this is how we spell Harold yeah in, yeah that's, in English that's okay. like that okay <laughs> all right okay and Claudio joined us hi Claudio hi teacher how are you I'm doing well how are you doing I'm doing great thank you okay I'm doing fine uh, Hamid's having some trouble with his computer can't join us so maybe some other people are having trouble as well hi Ken yes hello how are you I'm doing well thank you welcome and Andrew you're um, coming amor. back good I'm okay. oh, sorry <laughs> I'll just mute mute you. Okay, so let me explain what we're going to do in this class so we can uh, get started here and everybody knows what is going to happen in this hour. So uh, this is one type of speaking class that I like to do um, sometimes, and that is um, I like to do a sh what we call it show and tell. And I explained that this is a, what kids do here. When you're younger and you go to school, sometimes they do it on Fridays for fun. It's a, it's a time where kids get up in front of the class and they give a little uh, speech. For example, they say what is um, you know, something that they did over the, they're going to do over the weekend or they show a picture of their new pet or they do something and it's practice for speaking in public so public speaking and so for you guys it's practice in English speaking and so the idea is that each person is going to get a turn or maybe two turns if we have time but usually one turn at least and you're going to give a little presentation a short presentation about something that is interesting to you or that you want to share with other people so uh, I'll give you some ideas like you could tell us about a, a movie that you saw this week and you could tell us what it was about and, and if you liked it or not you could talk about a book you could talk about uh, you know something that you really like about your country maybe your culture some food that you really like you could tell a story about something that happened to you when you were younger that was interesting you could talk about your travels maybe you recently did some travels or sometime in the past you could talk about your plans for the future you could talk about your work so it's really very broad and open and I'm um, giving you guys time to think about it and just uh, share if you want you can also share pictures so if you have like a pictures sometimes people share uh, their favorite food or maybe they share what their house looks like or what their town looks like or if you went on a trip you can share a few pictures and tell us what you did on your trip uh, that type of thing so it's really up to you and to get you to practice a little more I might ask you some questions or if you have a question you can ask that person um, some questions so it's just a time where everybody's going to have a turn to speak and share and then you can also ask people questions if you want so we're gonna do that and I'm gonna go with Ken first since Ken you're over here on my left side 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're here for you, probably. <laughs> and so, did Ken, you, I know you've yeah. done this before, so. <laughs> oh, really? I, I don't, I don't I think remember. you have. I think you've shared before, yes. What did I share at that time? I, well, I don't remember. This, I, okay. this is, Hamid tells me this is my 999th class, so you can imagine that's a lot of classes to remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you've shared about going to the Paul McCartney concert, and I think uh -huh. you shared one time, you shared about um, uh, some places in Japan. I can't remember where there were beautiful, like, cherry trees and stuff. And we talked about a little uh, bit that... Maybe my, about my town or something? Maybe about, it was your in uh, your town. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. And did I tell you how I take this picture? No, I don't. My, my iPhone picture. I told. I think I remember something a little bit, but go ahead. You can tell me again because I don't okay. remember that well. <laughs> and nobody, nobody else probably knows. Okay, because yeah. I don't have much here now. So, so yeah, you know the yeah. Uh, the reason why I I uh, I'm using this low quality picture of Paul McCartney because I took Paul picture, McCartney. this picture last November. Yeah. Uh, when he came uh, to perform the concert. Mm -hmm. And before the concert, there actually 20 years ago, I met Paul McCartney in the same uh, venue, in a small wrestling venue. Oh, uh, every okay. time he came to town, he went to see the small wrestling. So, and uh, this time I met Paul McCartney 20 years ago and shook hand with him. Mm, so wow. This time I didn't intend to chase him actually, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, I saw the concert, uh, another concert, before the Paul McCartney concert day. Uh, that was just right behind that small wrestling venue. Mm. So I decided to wait, in, wait, to wait him again. <laughs> oh, the same yeah. thing? The same plan? Same plan, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, this time, uh, 20 years ago, it, it was secret visit, so uh, not... Uh, but uh, everybody noticed him, so everybody uh, kind of how can I say, excited about him, so I, I couldn't approach him. Yeah. So I But I wanted to take his picture, so I chased his car a bit. <laughs> and his car stopped because of a traffic jam. Yeah, and, and you, were running, think, you were running behind him. Yeah, <laughs> and at that time, I and, and uh, one woman, uh, uh -huh. only two of us on the street, so... Oh, he good. <laughs> opened his car window and to say hi to me and that woman. So I took, <laughs> could shake his hand and take his picture. Yeah. But this time, the one newspaper reported he is going to go to the small wrestling to watch. So mm -hmm. a lot of fans are around the, uh, kind of that venue. So mm. uh, I almost uh, abandoned you know, to yeah. take his picture. But... Uh, you know the kind of neighbors uh, around uh, are living just beside the, that venue. The, uh, the, I I talk with them a bit, and yeah. he, he's, they said uh, they know a new spot, know a spot uh, when the celebrity car stops because of the traffic signal. Mm. So we went to that uh, spot, and oh. the car came, and uh, and he. Uh, he opened his car window, he, so I think he's trying to be friendly for his fans as, as, uh, as much as uh, he can. That's nice. So I could take his picture. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And to draw Paul's attention to me, I, I said, <laughs> thank you, I took your picture. And uh -huh. maybe he noticed to me, probably. Yeah, did, you, uh, did you take it with your phone or did you have a camera? Uh, 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 my mobile phone. That's why oh. picture quality uh, like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's uh, it's so funny. Like, isn't it funny how we we like these people so much? We want to take their pictures and stuff, and they're just people. But it's you know we know we feel yeah. like we know them. You know they don't know us at all. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, I remember one time I was in Paris a long time ago when I was pretty young, like teenager, and I saw, uh, uh, well, a bus, and I saw a bunch of people kind of waiting outside of a hotel room or a hotel, 
and and a bus, and people were kind of going to the bus, and I saw an actor who was famous at that time. He's not so famous now, but Rob Lowe. He came mm -hmm. out of the hotel and got onto the bus, and then we saw Michael Jackson, and mm -hmm. uh, he was he was waving from the hotel room, and then he came down and got on the bus. But I didn't have a a phone or a camera or anything like that at that time, so. I didn't really get a... Well, actually, I did. I had a camera. I didn't get a very good picture. You have a better picture. Because you can see Paul's face right there, so that's good. Michael Jackson's face, I think I didn't see. His, he was hiding, you know, so... Mm -hmm. But that was kind of yeah. exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Famous people. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's exciting. You didn't give up. So <laughs> you got a picture. Ah, uh, maybe because of that, I'm a huge fan of Beatles. Yeah. yeah. Maybe for another celeb, I, maybe I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for another person, yeah. you wouldn't be willing to, mm -hmm. to work so hard to get the picture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. All right, Alex, what would you like to share with us? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, maybe I can speak about a sport that uh -huh. I practiced. Uh, okay. Sorry, so, sorry. Can I ask? Yeah, Victor. Uh, oh. I, I want to ask Lisa. Okay. Uh, Lisa, uh, uh, you said that uh, uh, it will be questions after okay. story. I want to ask. Aga. You want? Okay, yeah, you want to ask Ken a story? Sure. A uh, question? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, ask him a question, sure. Uh, uh, Aka, mm -hmm. yes. uh, is it difficult to meet uh, some mm -hmm. celeb uh, celebrity, some famous mm -hmm. person in your country? Because, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me complete. Uh, in my country, uh, it was time when uh, the leader, the group of Metallica. Metallica? Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know in which uh, city, mm -hmm. maybe it was in Russia, I, but uh, it was usual restaurant, mm -hmm. and uh, you can take photo with that mm -hmm. celebrity. Mm -hmm. uh, is it difficult? But uh, in in my country, in my city, it's usual situation to meet uh, our local celebrity, mm -hmm. but not so high. And is it difficult to meet? Uh, and take photo with some famous person in your country? Uh, my country, I think it's up to the artist's character. Uh, in Paul's case, he's very friendly. He's o o always open his car window for fans, uh, if it is possible. But uh, some other celebrity, maybe they are fed up with chasing uh, their fans. So, uh, yeah, many of them, you know, hide inside a car or, yeah. It's difficult to take photo in general. Mm -hmm. uh, the celeb celebrities. Uh, celebrities, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. I imagine, especially in Japan, uh, if especially if a, a a famous person is in Tokyo, there's so many people. It could be overwhelming sometimes for them mm -hmm. if a lot if they're really famous and if a lot of people want to see them. But um, yeah, the other day I was in Seattle, and uh, I was there on a Friday, and that night uh, Lady Gaga was going to be having a concert, and I saw many people standing outside uh, kind of the place where she was going to drive in, the back to the, the venue. Uh, there were people waiting there. They were all dressed up, and they were hoping to be able to see her in the car. I don't know if her car would stop. Like, she's probably going to be in a limo or something. I don't know if the car will stop and she'll say hi to them. Sometimes people do that, but not not always. So, I don't know if they got to see her or not. Yeah. Lisa, yeah? I have a short question. Yeah. Uh, you have used the word overwhelming. Yeah, uh, overwhelmed. That yeah. phrase that you say. Uh, in this context, the word overwhelming means like, uh, uh, like under pressure? Um, yeah, maybe, or just like it's too much. You know, like if you feel overwhelmed by all the people, you just feel, yeah, like too much pressure, too much 
too much noise, too many people. You just need like uh, privacy. You need quiet or not so much. You know what I mean? So if you feel overwhelmed in that situation, it's because there's too much of whatever. Noise, people, cameras, things going on, people talking to you. Yeah. People could yelling I, at you, oh, you know. Could I think could I think about pressure when I heard the, when I hear this 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 word? Uh, yeah. Time. Too much pressure. Yeah, much. it's it's not so much like pressure though. It's like if I feel overwhelmed, then like my, my face is like like I feel tired, I feel like I need space, you know? So I just get like too there's too much going on, so that's the over part. Like it's overcoming me and I just wanna like hide like that. So it's yeah. it's pressure is one part of it, but uh Pressure could also mean like you, you feel a lot of pressure and you get nervous and tense, but overwhelming is more like you want to stop things. You want to like have less noise, less people. You know, Paul, he didn't feel overwhelmed, so he felt comfortable and he felt open to rolling down his window and showing his face so that his fans could see him and take a picture. But if Paul felt overwhelmed, he might feel really tired and exhausted and not want to see anybody so he would you know make sure that his window was closed and he wouldn't look at anybody he just wants to go to ho to the hotel room and relax or something like that yeah. okay so so but uh, i could could i use this word to describe in that situation like uh, um and my last job my last job makes me overwhelmed yeah yeah, like if there was too much to do and your boss was always telling you, you know, do this and do that and your coworkers, maybe they didn't do their part and all, you know, it was just too much. It could be too much pressure, but it could be too much of other things as well that make you feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank Victor? The main, the main word is over. Yes. Yeah, it kind of gives you the idea of over, like too much. It's over the top, you know. Yeah. It's it's like a stress. Uh huh. Yeah, I feel stressed. I feel overwhelmed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, too much going on. I need to stop. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alex, <laughs> you you had a little bit more time to think there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to speak uh, about a uh, sport that I practiced uh, when I was younger and okay. uh, yes I, I want to talk about this sport because I think um, it's not uh, very known as a sport mm -hmm. so this sport is roller rollerblading mm -hmm. but uh, the kind of uh, rollerblading that I, uh, I did mm -hmm. Uh, it uh, consisted not. It consisted of not only a rollerblade along a, a flat uh, ground, or something like that. Yeah, flat surface. Uh -huh. Yes. And this this kind of uh, of uh, sport is called uh, aggressive rollerblading, or like racing or something. Or yeah, it, it's it's very similar to skate. Okay. To skate, but instead of uh, the skateboard, you use uh, rollerblades. Wow. So you yeah. do like tricks and stuff, or? Yes. Yes. Oh. So in uh, this kind of sport, um, you you have a. Uh, uh, you have a, you can do a lot of things. You can jump. You can uh, slide uh, on ledges, on uh, handrails. Uh -huh. You can do, you can do a lot of things. And uh, uh, the people who practice this sport call yeah. these movements. Each of these movements uh -huh. is called a trick, and each trick has his own name. Right. Some some names are very weird. Mm -hmm. For example, there is a, tri a trick movement called uh, fish brain. <laughs> <laughs> a fish brain? 
Yes, yes. Um, and uh, I. Um, Is it that one? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh man, that we, looks. We, we want food. One yeah! Food. Wow, that looks hard. Yes, yes, it's it's hard to do, mm -hmm. and uh, is um, the thing is that uh, you have to you need to put your you need to control your skates yeah. the uh, every part of the of the of the roller blade the mm -hmm. skate mm -hmm. because you can you can slide with each part of the roller blade. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, it, it, depending on the the parts of the skate you use to slide, yeah, you, you do a trick or another, or so there are a range of tricks that goes from the the less difficult to more difficult and right. Yeah. And, wow! Cool. Uh, yes, and I, I liked a lot this sport. It was uh, my my life because uh, when you practice this sport, yeah, it is not only a sport. It, it becomes like your. It, it becomes a lifestyle. Mm, so sure. It's uh, very interesting because you know a lot of people. You travel and. Uh, Were you professional? Very nice. Uh, I I didn't become the professional because uh, when I ten years ago when I practiced uh, this yeah. sport, uh, it wasn't uh, very developed. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, and uh, well nowadays uh, it's not. Uh, it's still it isn't still very developed. So there are ah. there are in in the United States is uh, yeah. it, there, there is more money in, uh, involved in this sport but ah. not too much. Okay. Yes. Uh, well this this picture that I was looking at it says it's it's the skating is the kick-ass sport that leaves all other sports in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> so that person loves this sport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I've never um, seen people do so many tricks like that with rollerblades. Just a little bit, but I didn't mm. re realize uh, it was so popular that they even had special skates and everything, rollerblades. Mm. To do yes. it, yeah. And uh, it's um, it's very young this sport, so it's continuously evolving. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, evolving, evolving, and evolving and yeah. Every five years, every six years, uh, yeah. it evolves. So there are new tricks, and uh, there are mm, people come up with new styles and uh, new new um, ways to to see the sport mm -hmm. so it's interesting so uh, did, were you doing this at a skateboard park like in Valencia or somewhere or, or yes, just I, yes I um, I used to do this uh, in the streets because oh, I in the street. Okay. Yeah, in the streets, but I I like to do it uh, at the skate park, at the skate parks as well. Uh -huh. Yeah. But I prefer to do it in the streets. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Yes, because I I felt more free to mm. to, to choose what uh, what I want to skate, which place I want to go. Yeah. Which handrail, which uh, stairs I want to jump, and all this. In the, in the skate park is very is is fun as well, but you are always in the same place. Yeah, you're limited to the mm, what, yes. the features uh, that are there. Yeah. Does anybody? Wanna, yes. You have I a question, Victor? Yes. Okay. Uh, is <laughs> it, uh, does it need uh, to be in good shape, in good physical shape? Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, sorry, uh, let me explain. Because for me, it, uh, that sport uh, doesn't available. It's not available. Because not available. Yeah. Available because I'm too late. I think. 
Too heavy? <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Me too. <laughs> I also have some possibility to see that sport, to look at sport. Yeah. Uh, we have also a couple of parks uh, when the young guys uh, practice or uh, practice uh, that sport. Uh -huh. And uh, it's that guys in very good shape and uh, uh, is it need, and does it need, uh, I mean, the sport a lot of practice? <laughs> I bet, big, yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, sh uh, should you be in good shape for that? Mm. Yeah. Well, you, uh, when you start uh, this sport, uh, you can be in a normal shape, but if you continue uh, practicing it, mm -hmm. uh, you became more fit and uh, yeah, it's uh, mm -hmm. yes, I, I, I have known, I have known many people that at the beginning they were uh, a bit, uh, a bit fat mm -hmm. And uh, they started to rollerblade, and uh, maybe uh, in one year or two years, mm -hmm. they were in a uh, excellent shape, and wow. uh, cool. they have uh, reached a very high level. Yeah. So n nowadays, one of the the most uh, one one of the best skaters in in the world. Yeah. He was fat <laughs> when <laughs> he started to skate, but really? he, yeah, he he was uh, kind of he he had a kind of con constitution. Yeah. Uh, it's it's strange, but uh, we all know some people with this constitution, or mm -hmm. we have known some people. It it it's this constitution in which you are a big fat, but you are um, you have agility. Yeah. yeah. Understand. Uh, as mm. I mean, to, uh, you are right. Uh, the constitution is the main goal because uh, I am in normal uh, physical shape, but I'm, uh, I think for that sport, I'm a little bit higher than normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I think, yeah, when you get to be able to do this, but when you first start off, you're not going to do that anyway, so no, no. take time. <laughs> You need a lot of practice and uh, and uh, more because years. The, for that sport, it's normal uh, to fail. Oh, yes, it's to fail, yeah. It's too hard. <laughs> to fall. It's easy to fart. You yeah. once, once I fall from bicycle and oh, it's yeah. my second time and I uh, broke it. Uh, uh. Uh, bones. Oh no, terrible. And, uh, it was only one failing. <laughs> yeah, it's not it, it's not big failing, but uh, once and broke. Yeah, one fall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. can happen. Okay, I want to move on to make sure everybody has time to uh, talk, just because okay. you know we have a lot of people in the class right now. So, and Andre, thanks, Alex. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, that's really interesting. Uh, maybe we'll have time in another class someday to to talk about it even more. So, Andre, what would you like to talk about? Uh, I'm gonna talk about already. I'm gonna talk about uh, uh, healthy life and uh, uh, sports and uh, have a good fit. Okay. Because, uh, I'm uh, I'm really into bicycling. Oh. Uh -huh. About four or five years. And. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, when I buy a bicycle, uh, when I bought bicycle, uh, it was uh, it was stolen. Oh after, no! Uh, yes, it was stolen. Uh, I was really uh, upset about that. I was really sad. Almost I crying about yeah, that. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. But uh, I, <laughs> I, uh, I I, I have to take my bicycle uh, f uh, from my brother. Mm. My brother mm -hmm. had. The bicycle and I uh, take uh, it from him. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I uh, actually I prefer to uh, get to my job 
by bicycle. Nice. Do you have a, a bike day. like this? Is it like no, a road uh, bike no, or a mountain uh, bike? No, no, it's um, no. I uh, I have another type of bicycle for mount, about mountain bike. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Kind of mountain bike. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, <clears throat> and um, I'm uh, uh, usually I I uh, ride on my bicycle about. Uh, uh, Thirty kilometers uh, a day. Wow. Fifteen, okay. 15 uh, uh, to work and fifteen to get to home. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, it's and um, in the summertime it's uh, uh, co um, quite convenient uh, uh, because of good weather most of time uh, getting uh, riding by bicycle. But um, and recently. We uh, we have an, an autumn time. It's uh, much colder yeah. and rainy. And a uh, few uh, few days ago, uh, and um, at the morning it was uh, rainy weather. And yeah. uh, I, I uh, as as usual, I I decided to go to work and by bicycle. But mm -hmm. uh, during that way, uh, the job I I became extremely extremely wet. And everyone yeah. <laughs> in my everyone in in my work uh, was uh, very uh, confused because of my <laughs> because of my appearance. Yeah. <laughs> look like look like uh, that uh, uh, I uh, jumped to a pool. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, 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 with wa water and in the uh, yeah. yeah, I was ex I was totally uh, wet. <laughs> and, um, uh, after that, uh, uh, and uh, my um, my uh, um, um, chief, uh, uh huh, your boss. Uh, 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 my chief, my boss. He uh, he saw me and he said, uh, "What happened with you?" And I explained and ex and explain explain him what happened. And he said uh, that he uh, he wants to give me a gift, gift. A gift? A gift. gift. Yeah. Yes. He uh, he wants to, that uh, he um, uh, what uh, uh, what I I gonna go to job in winter time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, what are you uh, going to use? How? I, yeah. And I, I said uh, that I uh, that I want to to have a winter bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No tires. And, uh, and, uh, and he said that he said that he uh, gonna uh, he gonna buy me for me that uh, winter, wow, winter nice. bike. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he said that he mm, uh, that uh, I should uh, find a link in the internet and give give him him. Give it to link. him. Yeah. Yeah. Give it to him. But uh, mm, uh, it uh, it's very it's uh, I I uh, find a link, but. Uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, winter bike for was for uh, for uh, mountain uh, mountain uh, mountain uh, sky this this uh, this sky yeah. this sky uh, instead instead uh, instead tires sky oh. skies instead tires instead it tires yeah yeah but wow. uh, then <clears throat> uh, I decided uh, we decided uh, we both decided that. Uh, it's, it would be better uh, if he buy if he buy for me uh, winter tires. Winter tires, yeah. Winter, winter tires with with iron iron ship iron ships. Oh wow, nice. Iron ships and uh, and also uh, he he bought for me um, uh, uh, clo clothes for yes. winter. Yes, <laughs> winter clothes. That's good. Winter clothes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. And actually, actually, I'm. Uh, uh, he uh, gives he uh, gave me a money, yeah. money That's for great. that, and I already I already already um, uh, takes take that uh, that things I already you bought. Got, you bought them. I already, you already bought, bought them. them. Yes, I already yeah. bought them, and I I really enjoy it about that. Wow! Awesome. Thank okay, you. that's a great that's a great story. Okay, Claudio, let's keep going because we are going to run out of time. So let's just keep going. I want everybody to have a turn. What do you want to share, Claudio? Okay, Lisa, I'm gonna try to share 
a idea that I heard listening and at TED speeches. Okay. Uh, about philosophy. Unfortunately, I I don't have a, a lot of uh, sport and uh, to share. I I already. <laughs> I really? I've shared a lot of uh, these experiences in English, so I'd mm -hmm. like to try to share some idea that is very difficult to express even in my own language. Sounds good. So, so another day I heard a uh, philosophy master mm -hmm. saying about uh, the memetics. Memetics is a new idea mm. that means they... They believe that nowadays, or whatever, uh, whenever in our society, mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of uh, viruses, like an uh, yeah. viruses, but these viruses is just about ideas. They believe that ideas can be can be spread uh, around the society. Like mm. an viruses, um, mm -hmm. the best the, the best example to explain it is um, like uh, ants. When we are okay. in, a, in a, a grass, we can see an ants walking and to the grass, uh -huh. and some uh -huh. ants can change the direction, can can change uh, a direction to left. And mm -hmm. we can see that some of the other ants will follow, will follow the first yeah. ant without yeah. think about why they are doing what it. they're doing and why. Yeah. So it's right. a kind of mimetic idea. Yes, this guy <laughs> said about yeah. it. And Dangerous kind of, memes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And like and, and so, what I mean is that if I had an idea like in a way of like a, it can be in a behavior, it can be in a clothes that I wear, or mm -hmm. even some political ideas, and I can spray these ideas without percept. Without, without feeling, without mm. even want to spread my idea. And oh, okay. My behavior can be spread in the society by talking, by 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 visual sites, by by another, uh, not just talking or saying uh, or telling, uh, but my my own behavior can express my idea that. This idea can be spread in all in all society, or my class, or my school, or my city, or my country, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. without people notice that they are they are behave uh, just uh, copying each other. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's quite difficult to express. Yeah, they're <laughs> copying each other, doing the same thing. Yeah. Doing the same thing. And thinking, uh, they they start to do the same thing, but in, actually they are think that these actions are on on are 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 themselves. <laughs> they mm. think that these actions are themselves, but uh, it is it is it is not them. Because it's mm -hmm. just an uh, idea that want to be sprayed by internet. Or mm. That's it. And this philosopher, it's a specific, and he said that it can be dangerous because some wrong idea can be sprayed in all society, mm. and society can start to act uh, in a wrong way, in a wrong. Uh, targets uh, into a wrong target just because uh, anyone can uh, no one and uh, say oh we have to think about what we are doing yeah. so uh, he he explained with a lot of uh, examples in our history yeah. uh, and and our and nowadays as well yeah uh, 
That's very interesting because another philosopher said that it can be used to to figure out and uh, three trends, trends. In, by mm -hmm. the by the internet. It can be used and uh, not just in a dangerous thing, but uh, we can use it to predict and um, how this uh, how the behavior, the societal and future trends. It it is very interesting because just just seeing my friend, just yeah. seeing that my friend is start to use a uh, color watch and oh, uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Like an <laughs> but another day I can say that another friend is using in a color watch so I can predict that a new trend and a future future mm -hmm. new trend and can be starting uh, maybe two or three months uh, before this huge trend start but I, I have to select the specific friends the specific people uh, because uh, they have to be at the middle of the society, they have to to be influenced. Uh, yeah. They have to to have influence into right. the, yeah. uh, their groups. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to to me. Yeah, uh, it's very. But I think that I think it. Is. I think you're doing a good job of explaining it. It's, a, it's an interesting idea and it's definitely something uh, with technology that people, it's happening more and more how easy it can spread and it's not always a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Well, we, I, I, the problem with this is everybody's coming up with so many interesting things. I could ask you a lot of questions, but I want to make sure everybody has a chance to talk. So let's go on to uh, Ismael. And uh, just thanks, Claudio. And if anybody has a question, maybe you could ask it in the, in the chat so that we can keep just, going. Just a question, teacher. Yeah, just, yeah Claudio. Sure. And uh, you, you could understand me clear when I say my, my way to explain. You yeah, I, I was understanding, uh, once I understood that you were talking about the memes, I didn't understand memetics at first, that was something I wasn't familiar, I'm familiar with the word memes, so then I started uh, understanding what you were saying better. Yeah, and then when I saw what he was saying, then I could understand too, but you did a good job. Okay, thank you, yeah. teacher. Yeah. It's very good exercise to express. It yeah, it is, it is. And, um, you know, this is kind of a big idea too, and you didn't have a lot of time because I could ask you some questions and we could have a little discussion. But for now, we're just going to have to leave it at that. But you gave some good examples of what he was saying about the ants and stuff, so that helped explain the idea. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Good. Right. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch that one. <laughs> All right, Ishmael, your turn. What do you want to tell us about? Uh, uh, Lisa, I want to talk about my village. Could you help me, Lisa? I yeah. sent the link. Maybe okay. you can open the picture sure. and share with the class. Yep. Uh, I grew up in a fishing village named Apollonia. Uh, it is located on a peninsula in the Ulavat Lake, it is uh, ancient settling. Many ancient civilization lived here for thousand years. Mm. The village was surrounded with historical wall. Huh? Maybe uh, they wanted to to defend uh, the settling against enemy attacks. Mm. from the lake. Mm -hmm. There are many an ancient uh, a building like amphitheater, church, uh, ancient villas on the lakeside. And uh, this village is a uh, a destination for photographer all uh, around uh, our country. Many people are coming to my village to take some photographs, especially 
uh, at uh, sunrise and sunset. Yeah. Uh, there are many fish uh, that are living in the lake, like carpon, catfish, pike. You can. There are some restaurants around the village, and the most beautiful one a restaurant on the on the side of the lake. Lake. Uh, there is a big chunar tree. There you can sit under the shadow of the giant tree and. Wow. Uh, Yes, Lisa, you can see the uh, beautiful lake. Yes, mm -hmm. this is the giant chunar tree. There are uh, many tables under the tree. Yeah. You can eat your uh, fresh fish, which, uh, which uh, was caught uh, from the lake. And you drink uh, something and look to beautiful lake. Wow. S uh, skiing. There are many lake fish who are flying uh, on the lake. Pelicans, seagulls, wild ducks, uh, geese, How and so on. How many people live in this area now? About 2,000 uh, people are oh. living now in the village. In the village, small village, yeah. Yes, because uh, there is uh, not enough pillars, place. Mm -hmm. uh, we are on a peninsula and actually... Uh, not enough work, maybe, too? Uh, yes, these uh, young people uh, goes to city, goes to Bursa, yeah. which is uh, a more uh, better opportunity uh, on working and uh, so-called education opportunity, health opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's a nice place. At least you, you got yes. to grow up there. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yes. Yes, Lisa. Yeah. Thank you, Ismail. That's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, I like Thank hearing you. about your village. That's, I always like to hear that. Juanma, what would you like to share? Okay, I'm going to talk about the weather. Okay. Uh, because I think all, all of you live <laughs> in, in the, I don't know how do you say, uh, hemisphere? North the hemisphere? Northern hemisphere, yes. Okay. Uh, because in the North Hemisphere it's autumn at the moment. Yeah. Um, uh, where I live in Alicante, um, uh, always is warm, or uh, uh, usually is is warm, you know. Yeah. And, and people think that it's a uh, good weather, and but I don't think so because, uh, for example, I wanna see snow. Uh, here, uh, where I live, never snows. You want to see the snow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you know, here, where I live, it's impossible because yeah. um, we are uh, uh, on the same, how do you say, uh, the sea is, yeah. uh, we are not high, you know? You're on the sea level. You are at sea level. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, the sea level. Yeah. And it's very difficult. Um... Uh, in the mountain, uh, uh, as you can see, if you if you see Elda uh, in the in the in the left of the okay, yeah, yeah, and you can see a, a green uh, mountain, yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, snows there. Oh, right here, okay, <laughs> and it's about uh, forty kilometers from where I, from 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 Alicante. Mm -hmm. But it, it it only snows uh, two 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 times a year, mm. and when uh, people see the 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 mountain uh, white, yeah, all the people go go to see the <laughs> mountain. It's a party, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
and mm -hmm. I, I, I'm boring uh, of of, sun, of sunny time. <laughs> you're bored. Of, you're bored of the sun. Yeah, yeah, because it's always the same. Yeah, you want. Oh, you, you can... want. You want more variety. Okay, okay. M uh, my sister is living in London at the moment. Oh, uh huh. And she 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 tell me. Uh, you you uh, you are a, a, a lucky person. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because Compared here in London it's always raining, always cloudy, and it's boring. You can do uh, you can do things like uh, walk by the by the beach or uh, cycling or playing sports or other things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> what you have is you have the the grass. The grass is always greener on the other side. Syndrome. Uh, <laughs> uh, here we never see the grass because uh, <laughs> it's the same color is brown. All is brown. Brown, yeah. But it's an expression that means we always want what we don't have. Ah, uh, okay, I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Lisa, where are you from? Sorry. Um, I'm originally from California, but I live in Port Townsend, Washington. So oh, okay. I live in Washington State, so it's very green where I live. It's a small town, so this is what it looks like here. Oh, but, nice, nice place. Yeah, yeah. We do get some uh, rain and a little bit of snow now and then, but we didn't get any last year. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Juanma. Let's go to. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> That's great, Harold, and uh, then Victor. We can go over a little bit of time too if people want to stay. If you if you can't stay, that's okay. Uh, well, we'll finish up. Harold. <clears throat> Harold, you want to share something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you about my trip to United States. Where did you go? Yeah. How? Where? Uh, I I traveled to Las Vegas and New oh. York three years ago. Oh, okay. Tell us. So, well, I'm going to tell you the funny thing that happened. Okay. Uh, when I traveled there, I didn't speak enough English. Uh huh. So we were visiting a aunt, so she was the only person who speaks English. <laughs> okay. Well, and the worst thing was that. We we were to in a mall, so I got lost and oh. I didn't speak English. Yeah. So it was terrible for me because how I can find them. Yeah. So I was lucky that day because I had her number phone, so I called her. Oh, good. <laughs> she came for me. Yeah. Fortunately. So that was uh, a funny and a terrible story for me. Funny and scary, maybe. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was scary. Was so that scary. was that in Las Vegas or New York? It was in New York. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, that's a big, huge city. So that's pretty. That can be scary for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and wow. if you don't speak English, how you are gonna? You're gonna solve the problem. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. luckily you had a cell phone, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I had a <laughs> cell phone, so I called her. She came for me. Uh, in fact, I cried. <laughs> it was very funny because in a place, in a big place like that. that yeah, that could yeah. be really. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I was I was twelve years. Oh wow! You were you are only twelve years old. Yeah, so so oh. it was for me it was difficult. Yeah, well I'm glad uh, it worked out for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Harold, where are you from? Well, I'm from Colombia. Oh yeah, okay, from Colombia, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And okay. I hope uh, to see the United States again, but speaking in English. Now that you speak English, yeah. 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 <laughs> cool. Uh, I will travel there. I hope the next year. Oh wow! Great. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that story, Victor. What would you like to share? 
Oh, Lisa, I I want to be short. Okay. Because it's out of time. <laughs> yeah, um, we ran out of time. Yes, and uh, I want to show about uh, uh, the last two weeks. Okay. Uh, which I uh, lived, and uh, I have uh, now I have a pretty heavy uh, period of my life. It's, mm. Sometimes we have uh, some. Uh, sometimes, like I have now, uh, some when we sometimes be, uh, building something like I do now. Right, working example, a lot. Yes, uh, or uh, build some house or uh, or flat or some heavy process which needs uh, to focus it on, and yeah. you can't uh, to do something else. Uh, yeah. you, you should focus it on. And uh, even in my occasion, I spend it in that process. Oh, wow. I want to, yes, but now I have a lot of experience and uh, I know now how to do it in a more uh, light way, in more better way. Yeah. I have a lot of practice because uh, I noticed, uh, I expected that uh, it's too... Um, heavy uh, do something in the first time and mm. but then it's uh, uh, it's better it's light mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but when you uh, take in the first that uh, experience it's a little bit heavy. yeah yes. yeah <laughs> oh sorry and one small question yeah uh, sure is, is it good uh, to <laughs> drink coffee in uh, afternoon <laughs> and because, because I really want to drink coffee only in the morning. It's, yeah. It's too tasty. In the morning. <laughs> but then I just drink it, and uh, I don't know. It's just uh, my addict addiction or your addiction. I don't know. <laughs> Some or, people. Or I it's not it's addiction. Depends. It's like your. It's like your uh, bad. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English. It's your bad... Uh, bad habit? Uh, bad habit or uh, fall when we say, when we have something like uh, uh, property, but uh, property, but bad property. Hmm. But quality and uh, false. Well, and, I don't know. I don't know that much. I don't drink coffee at all, but I think it depends on your... Each person, each person has their own health and their own, uh, you know, tolerances and how things affect them. So I don't really know. You have to see how it how it works for you. Some people can drink coffee in the afternoon and not be awake late at night, and some people have a hard time if they hard time falling asleep if they drink coffee too late in the afternoon. But I think everybody's different. Yeah. Like, uh... Uh, property, but uh, property, but bad property. Okay, Victor. So I don't know. Does anybody want to tell Victor if he should drink coffee in the afternoon or not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but because uh, I did it. Uh, yeah. Today. And how and did it work? I'm not, I'm not sure that I will sleep tonight. <laughs> well, that might be your answer right there. You you, you answered your own question. <laughs> yes, but I yeah. think it's, uh, it's better to... Maybe you, you can go uh, do some running around, exercising, and then you'll <laughs> be sl more tired. <laughs> okay, guys, thank because you. Now, what? Now, uh, I tried. Uh, I will. I gonna drink some coffee. Okay. <laughs> <too>. <laughs> okay. Let us know how it goes. <laughs> okay, guys. I don't know what happened to my uh, camera. It's turned off. But thanks for coming and talking. You guys are uh, gave some really interesting stories. Thanks for sharing all of that. It's really fun for me to hear you. And you did great with English. So, great job. Thanks. Okay, Take thank care. You very much. Okay. Bye, Take everybody. Care. Bye. Bye. Have a good rest Bye. of your day. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to another English class here on Verbling.com. Uh, in this hour, we're going to be doing a speaking class. So if you want to join us, you can uh, join using your reservation if you have one or just wait 
until you see the join class button and then you can join us if you want to practice speaking English. Today it's going to be kind of a show and tell where you guys are going to tell us about stuff. Um, you can tell us anything you want and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more uh, once we get settled here and see who joins us. I just finished uh, the last hour. We were talking about a, a new toilet that they've designed and they're using in India which is helping uh, improve the sanitation there. So that's a that's a cool thing we, we read about. Um, but in this hour we're going to be doing something completely different. So that's pretty cool here on Verbling. Every hour new things are happening. So one hour you're speaking, one hour you're reading, the next hour you might be writing, playing a game, you know, something like that. So for this hour you guys are going to be doing more of the talking. Okay, well, let me just say hi to people. Hi Alex. Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good, awesome. All right, and uh, Bilge, how are you, Bilge? Am I saying that right, Bilge? 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 I, I don't hear you very loudly, it's kind of soft. Bilge? Maybe speak up a little louder or get closer to a microphone or something. I don't know. Bilge, where are you from? Okay, uh, I'm from Turkey. Oh, from, from Turkey. Okay, what part of Turkey? Uh, European side. Oh, European side. Okay. Okay, wonderful. And Juanma, you're back. Welcome yes, <laughs> you're right. a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I enjoyed the the the, the class uh, before, the speaking yeah, class. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, that was interesting. Cool. We were talking All about right. uh, toilets. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Computer and then go to verbling again. That uh, sometimes helps resolve or fix the issues. So, um, yeah. Okay, guys, so let's see. Who else is here? Okay, Juanma and uh, Norris. Norris Maria. Hi, Norris. Or uh, hi, uh, but it's not Norris, it's Harold. It's Harold? Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know what, I don't know why he, the name is Norris, but <laughs> here is Harold. Okay, that's, that's interesting. So, yeah, are you using somebody else's... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that I am using his Google Plus. Yeah, you're using somebody else's Google Plus. Okay, so you can get your own Google Plus or use that one, but, yeah, you'll have to tell us what uh, your name is. Uh, do you spell it like that? This is how we spell Harold. Yeah, in, yeah. That's, in English. That's okay. Like that? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, and Claudio joined us. Hi, Claudio. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Okay, I'm doing fine. Uh, Hamid's having some trouble with his computer, can't join us, so maybe some other people are having trouble as well. Hi, Ken. Yes, hello. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Welcome. And Andrew, you're um, coming amor. back. Good. Amor. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll just mute mute you. Okay, so let me explain what we're going to do in this class so we can uh, get started here and everybody knows what is going to happen in this hour. So uh, this is one type of speaking class that I like to do um, sometimes and that is um, I like to do a sh what we call it show and tell and I explained that this is a, what kids do here. When you're younger and you go to school, sometimes they do it on Fridays for fun. It's a, it's a time where kids get up in front of the class and they give a little uh, speech. For example, they say what is um, you know, something that they did over the, they're going to do over the weekend or they show a picture of their new pet or they do something and it's practice for speaking in public, so public speaking. And so for you guys, it's practice in, 
English speaking. And so the idea is that each person is going to get a turn or maybe two turns if we have time, but usually one turn at least. And you're going to give a little presentation, a short presentation about something that is interesting to you or that you want to share with other people. So uh, I'll give you some ideas. Like you could tell us about a, a movie that you saw this week and you could tell us what it was about and, and if you liked it or not. You could talk about a book. You could talk about uh, you know something that you really like about your country, maybe your culture, some food that you really like. You could tell a story about something that happened to you when you were younger that was interesting. You could talk about your travels. Maybe you recently did some travels or sometime in the past. You could talk about your plans for the future. You could talk about your work. So it's really very broad and open and I'm giving you guys time to think about it and just uh, share. If you want, you can also share pictures. So if you have like a picture, sometimes people share uh, their favorite food or maybe they share what their house looks like or what their town looks like. Or if you went on a trip, you can share a few pictures and tell us what you did on your trip, uh, that type of thing. So it's really up to you. And to get you to practice a little more, I might ask you some questions. Or if you have a question, you can ask that person um, some questions. So it's just a time where everybody's going to have a turn to speak and share. And then you can also ask people questions if you want. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to go with Ken. First, since Ken, you're over here on my left side. Okay. <laughs> over here for you, probably. Okay. <laughs> and so, did, did Ken, you, I know you've yeah. done this before, so. Oh, really? I, I don't, I don't I think remember. you have. I think you've shared before, yes. What did I share at that time? I, well, I don't remember. Did I, okay. This is, Hamid tells me this is my 999th class. So, you can imagine, that's a lot of classes to remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you've shared about going to the Paul McCartney concert, and I think uh -huh. you shared one time you shared about, um, yes, um, I imagine you have a regular international style toilet in your house. Is that true, Juanma? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, I have an American standard. That was the company we were talking about is American standard uh, toilet, and that's the type of toilet I have in my house. Not oh. the one we, not the one we were looking at, but uh, one made <laughs> by that company. <laughs> yeah, I have to say so. that I have to say that w when I was young in the school, uh, yeah. there were uh, traditional toilets. Ah, uh huh. In the school. In the school, yeah. Uh, oh wow! Uh, about okay. fifteen years ago. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, th that's uh, not too long ago. I'm going to show you, I have this kind of toilet, just because we, we just finished up that uh, last hour there. Oh, Hamid says he can't participate. Okay, Hamid, we'll see you next time. Sorry about that. But uh, the toilet we were reading about costs $1.85, so $1.85. And a new toilet here in the United States that is typical of what you use is $216, so quite a bit difference, but that's... Uh, the type of toilet that is the most popular here in the United States it looks something like that and that's the company that is making the other toilet the cheap toilet in India so different places have a different toilet it's something that you don't necessarily think about that much until you travel then when you travel to different countries you see different people have different types of bathrooms different types of toilets, flushing systems, uh, that type of thing. So it's uh, interesting, uh, you know, depending on the economy and the, the history and the culture and everything. So interesting. Okay. All right. So people are kind of coming and going out of here. So a, maybe some people's connection is slowing down. If your connection um, slows down and you, you drop out and you didn't want to drop out, uh, just try refreshing your page that's usually the best thing you can do if you're having a lot of problems um, the next thing you can try is actually restarting your computer sometimes that helps if your your microphone isn't working or your connection is bad if you restart your 
uh, some places in Japan. I can't remember where there were beautiful like cherry trees and stuff. And we talked about a little uh, bit that maybe my, about my town or something. Maybe it was your in oh. your town. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And did I tell you how I take this picture? No, I don't. My, my icon picture. I told. I think I remember something a little bit, but go ahead. You can tell me again because I don't okay. remember that well. <laughs> and no, <laughs> nobody else <laughs> probably knows. Okay, yeah. because I don't have much here now. So, <laughs> so yeah, you know the, the yeah. Uh, the reason why I I uh, I'm using this low quality picture of Paul McCartney because I took this picture, this picture last November. Yeah. Uh, when he came uh, to perform the concert. Mm -hmm. And before the concert, there actually 20 years ago, I met Paul McCartney in the same uh, venue, in a small wrestling venue. Oh, uh, okay. Every time he came to town, he went to see the small wrestling. So, and uh, this time I met Paul McCartney 20 years ago and shook hand with him. him. Mm, so wow. This time I didn't intend to chase him actually, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, I saw the concert, uh, another concert before the Paul McCartney concert day. Uh, that was just right behind that small wrestling venue. Mm. So I decided to waiting wait, to wait him again. <laughs> oh, the same yeah. thing, the same plan. Same plan, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, this time, uh, 20 years ago, it it was secret visit, so uh, not. Uh, but uh, everybody noticed him, so everybody uh, kind of how can I say, excited about him. So I I couldn't approach him. Yeah. So I but I wanted to take his picture, so I chased his car a bit, <laughs> and his car stopped because of a traffic jam. Yeah, and, and you were I running. Think, you were running behind. His yeah, car. <laughs> and at that time, I and an uh, one woman, uh, uh -huh. only two of us on the street. So. Oh, he <laughs> opened his car window and to say hi to me and that woman. So I took, <laughs> could shake his hand and take his picture. Yeah. But this time, the one newspaper reported he is going to go to the small wrestling to watch. So mm -hmm. a lot of fans are 